Uchanga rubanga lwa mindi. Lelo abakulu mu Uganda Airlines bachigudeko. Kubanga amazima akachiko chekaba kola. Soko biera bileko bibino tubikulete de tova kupalu one extra. Um, a document you are aware of? Oh yes, I am. You are? Yes. It was signed by yourself? Absolutely. Okay, so you changed your name? Yes. To Jennifer Arnold Linkai? Yes. That's your name? No. Because there's a process to this process. There's a process to changing names. When you change your name, it doesn't stop here. You move to the registrar. It is registered, but it doesn't stop there because you have to swear an affidavit. You have to swear before a magistrate. It has to be gazetted. I didn't do that. Why? Um, because... because I changed my mind. I did not want to change my name anymore. So did you cancel this? Because this was registered yes, with you. Yes, I did. And I will look up the document. How did you cancel it? I went back to my lawyer and he drafted something. I will look it up. I have it somewhere. When but was I don't that? Use, um, because you said that you changed in 2017. This is 2019, March. Let me see this. That's when you registered it with URSB. Um, it was res registered in March. But if you notice, I did it in... Uh, February. It must have been February 2019. No, no, it was February. My signature. February 2019. So but I'm not called by this name because I did not register in terms of, I did no, not swear. No, you can't say you didn't register. I this did is not a stamp by the registrar. Honorable. So like you registered this. It's registered, but mm. I did not swear on an, an, an Are you among the 40 Ugandans who had also shown an interest in to be the CEO of Uganda Airlines? Did you apply, in other words? No, I didn't. Because the day I was going to apply, mm. I was appointed. Oh, wow. So, you were given instructions to appoint her? Uh, more or less, yes. Okay, who gave you instructions to the appoint instructions her? Instructions came in from the Minister of Works and Transport, mm. uh, General Katumba. Mm. Uh, from a directive from His Excellency the President. And as a committee of this country, we want to assure you that the image that you portray to the Ugandans out there, it shows that there was a lot of corruption. You, you keep saying that we got an instruction, we got a directive. Yes, but the directive, is it really procedurally right? And as board members, you shouldn't be as conduit pipe. Now, what is your role as board members? What would you have done in my shoes? 